kill you. Huh? Because I respect you. Hey yo, what's up? It's Ajith from Team ETV, and today I'm going to be reacting to another episode of New Girl. This is going to be Season 1, Episode 17, titled Fancy Man Part 1. And I'm really excited for this, because this is, I guess, the first time in the series that we're having, I guess, Part 1, Part 2s. So I wonder when this did come out. I wonder if it was just one big episode, um, and maybe they broke it down, you know, just for Netflix purposes, for, like, streaming purposes. Um, but either way, I'm really excited for, you know, an episode to kind of continue on to the next one. Even though, again, with sitcoms, there's kind of an overarching uh, story to it. Um, but it's really cool, I guess, for the first time we will most likely directly see from the titles. Um, if this is part one, I'm pretty sure the next episode will be part two, Fancy Man Part 2. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to see something that will just flow right into the next episode. Um, but with that said, let's just get right into the video. Once again, this is New Girl Season 1, Episode 17, and let's just get right into the video. Buying a phone's a big deal. I mean, think about how long you'll have this thing. It's like buying a car or a oh, bra. Buying a new phone? Do, do bras last eight, eight years? Bro, is that... Wasn't that guy in the office? I think he was in... Yeah, he was in WandaVision as well. Alive. I want to call Nick Miller. You can't. He doesn't have a phone. What? Wait, you can't get a phone if your credits are not good enough? Hi, I'm uh, Russell Shiller, Sarah's dad. Oh, we yes. spoke on the phone. I'm Jessica. Oh, I feel like I've seen this guy before. I did, yes, I did. Is this a bad time? I had to take <laughs> condoms off. 30 cucumbers. And condoms are harder to take off than I thought. I know I could put them on, but I didn't know how to take them off. I guess someone else has always done it for me. <laughs> you wanted to talk to me about Sarah's art. Does she have fake ears on, or am I tripping? She did. That one's called um. At the mall with Grandma, she made that in Dream Sets, which is where um I let the kids have time to create something. Sarah's gonna be opting out of Dream Sets from now on. She'll use that same time to review her other schoolwork with a tutor. Do you talk to Sarah about this? Well, I don't need to. I want her to know fractions before she goes to high school. Mm -hmm. My daughter's wearing dolls' heads around her neck, so whatever you're doing, keep it up. <laughs> okay, I talk to your daughter every single day. Do you? Because hiring a tutor is not the same thing. Spending time with her. I'm her father, not her friend. I know what she needs. He's the third largest donor in the city. We take his money, and then what? We have to answer to him? Oh, is he yeah, fancy man? My integrity? That's what I'm telling you to do. Yes, we need his money. So it's <laughs> worth his donation. I'll get a ragtag group of kids together. A lost soul, an orphan, a Jewish kid with a keyboard, a little slut who can dance. And one uh, <laughs> show, I'll choreograph some dances. Make I'm sorry, is this a reference to uh spring musical? Oh she did uh, I definitely thought that was a reference to some movie I haven't seen yet. <laughs> but she's just talking about herself. You're gonna say that you were wrong. Say you're never gonna let the kids do anything creative ever again. Oh, you want me to take a dive next time? <laughs> take a dive? You know, like pretend like you know more than me when Shelby's around. It seems like you're smarter. I know you do the same <laughs> thing for me if I were the dumber one. Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, there's nothing wrong with being the second smartest in the loft. You know what? Let me take that back. Jess is a teacher of children. You memorize so facts. third. I can memorize uh. facts. I'm going to go to the stairwell, work on my calves. Come with? Hell no. <laughs> sure. <laughs> this is the problem, Jess. It's rich people. We are right where they want us, Jess. You were denied a cell phone because you have the credit score of a homeless ghost. How? <laughs> so march into his office and say, "Hey, Mr. Fancy Man, you can't tell oh, me what Oh, there's the title. Do. Your money doesn't own me. <laughs> oh, he's still babysitting this guy. About this girl, Alvin. I want her to be my girlfriend. I want her to think I'm smart. What about fake glasses? They work for me. <laughs> fake glasses. Okay, okay, I'm on my way to his office. <laughs> Are you listening to Nick? Is a horrible idea. Ghost protocol, man. You're using <laughs> my phone. It's not ghost protocol. It's you using my this phone. This is a group call. What is that? Are you oh, her. A lawnmower? No. Her car's breaking down. My car. Look, don't lose any. Can you guys come and help me push it? Yeah, yeah, we'll be down in a few minutes. <laughs> Hi. Um. I know a guy. He'll be here in ten. Oh, no, Mr. Schiller. Uh, Russell. I really, I, I mean, I need my car and... Hey, let me help you. Take mine. What? Take mine. Here. No. 
No, come on, take mine. Uh, I don't know how to drive cars that work. You can drop it off tomorrow night. I'm having a party. Here, cook out. Come on over anytime. Come on. Do you think it's a superhero? No. I think it's Jess. It's some weird guy. Miss Day? Jess. You can call me Jess. Great. I'll see you tomorrow, Jess. Goes the one on the right. <laughs> left to stop. Nice okay. guy. I don't want to be that guy, but I'm pretty sure he's going to want to try to smash. I think that's why. Or he could just be a nice guy. Who knows? Just hold out some hope. He gives me his car. Just hands me the keys. It's like so rich people. They're always giving you their cars. It's like, look at me car. He's taking back the power. So I have to go to his cookout. And instead of standing up to him, I have to grovel. Just a thought. What if he likes you? Ugh, no, I hate him. This guy but is single and he's sweet. You know me. I'm really attracted. I don't know. They might. I guess this is a part. You know, this is a two-parter. So maybe they do get along. Maybe at the end of this episode. And then it doesn't work out by the next one. It would be cool if they started going out, I guess. But yeah, they're really different. And the way he was saying, oh, how his daughter's not allowed to have, like, creative time. Stuff like that. That's definitely not going to mesh well with, I guess, Jess. Um, but yeah, let's just keep going. Guys who are afraid of success and think someone famous stole their idea. Maybe Russell intimidates you because you wouldn't have to take care of him because he would take care of you and that just terrifies you. Uh, no. In 1948, Albert became the first American woman. monkey in space. <laughs> His ancient Mesopotamia, hit me. You didn't actually know what a Mesopotamia is. Of course I know what Mesopotamia is. It's gonna be crazy. Use it in a sentence. Look, there's Mesopotamia. <laughs> that was a good one. That's a good one. What's the Lexus doing there? <laughs> when I put my hand on this desk, I feel sexually proficient for the first time in my life. Everything you want to wear this cap. You're not helping me, Nick. I know this Oh, the powers get into him. I like how she's like wearing the colorful color, you know, kind of sticking out. Deconstructed spring roll. Right. Oh. oh my god, this is so amazing, I want to punch you. Uh, okay, why does it have to be deconstructed though? Isn't the whole point of the spring roll to be everything just to, like, be packed into like one, one bite? Why? Uh, no, now that I think about it, it's the same thing either way. Eh, fancy man. Russell, come tell Carolyn about that time you delivered that baby. Oh. That's all it takes. <laughs> sweater? No. Yes. It, it was on the back of the chair, so I thought the sweater belonged to the chair. I thought it was a chair sweater. Here, take it. No, I can't take your phone, man. I can't. It's just it feels really good in my hand. Is it possible to be sexually attracted to an object? Yes, it is. It really is. <laughs> you can keep the sweater. Hey, Russell, why are you being so nice to me? Well, you're Jess's friend, right? Now you fold that sweater. Don't hang it. Do you listen to me? Fold it. I don't care. Do whatever you want. <laughs> that was really funny, man. Yeah, you don't want to hang that, so then it'll get the weight of it. Will okay? Yeah, it makes sense. And yeah, see, he's trying to bone Jess. <laughs> nah, if my if the toilet the toilet's talking to me, I'm not getting on it. What the hell? <laughs> you're just gonna get hit with water. Yeah. Just close the lid. I think I was gonna pull the donation. I would never do that. Jess, you put it up to six happy faces. I'm never going past three. <laughs> Why you need that much power down there, bro? And why are you all wet? Cause no matter where you go, he could find you. Go back in there. I think it'd be good for you. And I'm not just saying that because I'm in love with him. <laughs> do it. Don't yeah. be intimidated. Just because you're younger, poor, and wetter than everybody in there. I don't want some smart, rich guy who owns his own car. Thanks. I want to be with you. I don't care if you don't know Ernest Hemingway's birthplace. Oak Park, Illinois. Mm. <laughs> so what are you saying? Are we doing this? Is this real? Like, I'm sorry to pause in this emotional point, but I just realized this whole episode, I feel like it's just me going, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Just laughing like that. I'm sorry. It's probably getting real annoying. 
Are you my girlfriend? Because if that's what you're saying, then that would make oh. me very happy. Mm, me too. You know what? If this was my grandmother's building, she'd be outside on the patio and she'd be yelling, I'm glad you found one another. <laughs> but she wouldn't invite you up because she's a horrible racist. <laughs> you want me to put on some Jodeci? Jess, will you have dinner with me? Yes. Great. Good. Should I, um, text you or... No, I'll call. Okay, cool. All right, cool. What? Oh, no! Oh, boy, in my dress! Are you all right? Ah! <laughs> I didn't ask you, I'm talking to you. You want to come in here and get a million dollars? <laughs> I don't want to either. You're the best cop I got. President Miller of Earth. Of Earth. What? Alright, guys. Well, that was. That was a Fancy Man Part 1. <laughs> and I guess Part 2 is going to be them going on a date. So I'm really excited for that. And this this episode again, I said it earlier, I was just making weird noises. But that's honestly all I can do when I was watching that. I think this is probably one of the funniest episodes that I've seen so far. And it's just like those small subtle jokes that they're making, which makes which made it, I think, the best episode so far. Um, but again, it might just be recency bias. Um, once again, thank you guys for making it this far in the video. I do appreciate it. And since you guys are already here, you know, you might as well hit that like, subscribe, and notification button. So I'll definitely be reacting to more New Girl and Modern Family as the days and weeks go on. Um, but thank you guys again. But till next time, peace.